Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, so first I'm gonna take the NYX HD concealer like I did in my last video and apply it all over the eye. Okay. My finger, I'm gonna pat it in. And if you already have your eyebrows done, just don't pat it up to your eyebrows. I'm gonna take the Morphe NB palette and a Morphe M333 brush and then take the lightest shade and set that concealer. From that palette, the same Morphe NB, I'm gonna take this shimmery shade on the same brush and pat that on my eye. Tartlet and Bloom palette and the color Smarty Pants on a MAC 217 brush. And I'm gonna put that into the crease. Pack that a little bit on the outer corner. From the same palette, I'm gonna take the color Gestured on the same brush and also pop that into the crease. And a little bit on the outer, just on top of the other color we just put, just to build up the color. All right, and that's pretty much it for the eyes. And then I'm gonna take the NYX Black Liner. I'd like to start at the outer corner. And draw a line. Not that long today. And then start towards the tail and drag it back. And then fill it in right here. Fill it in a little towards the inner corner. And I'll start filling it in. Make sure to really fill it in towards the lash line. And there's your wing liner. Pretty simple. And how there's like, it's not that straight right there, you can always clean it back up with concealer. a Morphe 160 brush and a black eyeshadow. This is Blackout from the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. They also sell this shade by itself or just any black eyeshadow will work. You don't have to buy this or buy this shade because it's kind of expensive. You can just buy any $2, $5 eyeshadow from Walmart and it'll do the same thing. You're not even gonna see it. So then I'll lift up my eye and do my waterline. Also, if you have an eyeliner, this will work. I don't know where mine's at, so. I like to do the eyes before the foundation, just so if I am messy. And then I'll go back on top with it for the lash line. And just fill in any sparse areas. See this eye? And then this eye. It makes it look more fuller. On an e.l.f. crease brush, I'm going to take that same NYX concealer and this. If you messed up anywhere on your eyeliner, you can use this to fix it. I'm going to take a Morphe 208 brush and start blending that in. Then for my face, I'm going to take that good old BWC lotion and rub it in. And 
For primer today, I'm gonna take the Maybelline Baby Skin. Mine's almost empty. This, I just like to do it on where I, my pores or problem areas tend to pop out the most. Take the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and the Kiko Milano Ultimate foundation and mix them in together. I just dot it all over my face. And bring it down onto the neck too. I'm going to take the Real Techniques sponge and blend it in. This foundation dries kind of fast, so you have to blend it in really fast. Take this Lush Minerals Cream Contour Palette and I'm gonna take the Salmon shade, just on my finger, and pat it under my eyes because my circles are really bad today. And I bought the new Becca Cosmetics under eye corrector, but I lost it already. Don't ask me. I'm not too perfect with it. I don't care if it's perfect or not. And I'm gonna take this same sponge and blend that in. Kind of like camouflages them a little bit. And then I'm gonna take the LA Pro Conceal. This is the color porcelain and apply it under my eyes. Down the side of my nose, around my nose. And to set that before it creases, because no matter what I do, it always creases. I'm gonna take my airspun powder, the best powder ever, my holy grail, and then just this foundation brush. It doesn't have a name. I'm pretty sure I got it a long time ago. Powder and set. I don't want them my creases going anywhere. take my Morphe 140 brush and then wipe that away. I don't want to bake today because my under eyes have been really dry lately and I think it's because of that. I don't, if you guys have any suggestions of how I can fix really dry under eyes, then let me know. Okay guys, so I was waiting for my camera to charge so I applied my septum ring. I have a pierce but I never wear it. I don't know why, I always like wear it inside so while I was waiting, I decided to put it in. Mm. I don't really care if people don't like it or not. Now I'm gonna take that Lush Minerals Concealer Palette again and I'm gonna take this color just on any flat concealer brush. And starting at your ear, going down towards the corner of your mouth. Don't bring it all the way down though. I'll take some. And then I'll feather it up a little bit.
I'll do a more in-depth contour video later. But this is just quick and simple. Then I'm gonna take this e.l.f. contour brush. I think that's what it's called. It looks like this. And blend that out. On my forehead, I bring it quite low because I have a big forehead. So by bringing it low, it makes my forehead appear smaller. For my nose, I'm going to take a Morphe M173 brush. Then for my forehead, I'm going to take Tarte's Park Avenue Princess Bronzer and my trusty Zoeva 126 brush and just set my forehead. I like the color for my forehead to be more of a warm color and for my cheeks to be more of a cool color. It looks probably like boom crazy because in my viewfinder it looks crazy, but... I swear in person, it's not that crazy. Then for my cheeks, I'm gonna take the Anastasia Contour Color and Fawn. And I'm gonna take that same color down on my neck. Then for blush, I'm gonna take the Kiko Milano 107 blush. As you can tell, I'm obsessed with these. I love these blushes so much, and I think I pay like $3, three or $4, I'm not sure. And then blush up my cheeks. Very blushy today. Then for a highlight, I'm gonna take Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Pearl and a Morphe M334 brush. Just to intensify it a little bit more today because I want like very, I'm gonna wet my brush. Just a couple sprays. I'm gonna take Urban Decay's Luminous Highlight and an e.l.f. blush brush. And tap that over the pearl. And then I'm gonna take House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. I'm gonna apply them off camera. I'm gonna do a separate video later on how to apply lashes, but I'm still learning how to do lashes on camera. So once I figure it out, then I'll show you guys a video of how I apply my lashes. And then this is how the lashes look. In my palette, I'm gonna take some of Stark and Zone mixed together on a Morphe M169 brush. Just slightly smudge that under my lash line. This one I bring in a little too much though. So. Then I'm gonna take some more of that Luminous on a MAC 217 and apply that in the inner corner. Dab it in I'm gonna take the Polito Red Rose Lip Liner. It's a retractable one. And line my lips. This is my first time using this and I don't think I like it. It's not that pigmented and it's more like a dusty pink color instead of a dusty rose. Like a dusty red. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. Hmm. I really like that, so I'm just gonna stop with the lip liner. And I'm gonna take NYX 
liquid suede lipstick in the color Kitten Hills. Jeffree Stars, ho ho ho. I know this is limited edition, so you can't get it no more unless you got it when it came out. So if you don't have that, you can also take the NYX Cherry Skies or, or also this is ColourPop's LAX. That's also a deep red that you could take, but I'm gonna take Ho 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 and apply that on top. my face one more time with the MAC Fix Plus. Bathe in it. And then that's it for this look. Thank you guys for watching. It means so much to me. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It means a real... It means... How would I say it? It means a whole bunch to me. And like I'm barely getting started so everything counts for my channel so I really appreciate it and if you could go watch my other videos too that would mean a lot also and then stay connected with me on social media everything I always post my makeup looks just so you should you can know and if you subscribe and if you subscribe then you'll also see my other videos so thanks guys bye